In 2013, Elon Musk published his vision for a sustainable rapid mass transit system called Hyperloop. I have a name for it, name for it, which is called the Hyperloop. Busy with his other ventures at Tesla and SpaceX, Musk issued a rallying cry to the best and the brightest. There are some companies that have that are forming to try to make the Hyperloop happen. I, I encourage them. I think that's that's great. Um, I'm super focused on Tesla and SpaceX, and that basically completely uses up my my brain. So what's Hyperloop? Kind of like a Jetsons tunnel? It's something like that, yeah. So imagine to have a capsule of 28 people. You put this capsule inside the tube, so you have no resistance. And now, because there's no resistance, you can levitate and move the capsule at almost the speed of sound. Is the main trick to it uh, the vacuum and the fact that there's no friction? Is that the, the main reason yeah. why it makes it so fast? Tesla founder Elon Musk proposed this new technology called Hyperloop, and it's being developed right now in Playa Vista here in this hangar behind me. So when Elon published the document, he just drafted a possible way to achieve this. Two months later, we did a call to action and said, whoever wants to join our team to make this happen, please do. And we give you a stock option. So we give you a piece of our company. It's the first company that used crowdsourcing to solve one of the biggest problems of humanity, that is transportation. They have to work at least 10 hours a week, and we give them in exchange one stock for every hour worked. And we have been like overwhelmed of requests from engineers from all over the planet. Mm. Uh, there were people from, you know, NASA, Tesla, SpaceX, uh, yeah. Boeing, MIT. Melissa Goh finds out about the revolutionary mind behind the Hyperloop. He's a man with a plan and he wants the world to get on board with it. And that's why Bebop Gresta, the Italian-American head of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, was making waves at the recent Global Entrepreneur Conference in Kuala Lumpur. So we are creating the biggest crowdsourcing project in the planet. Big headline of the day, Hyperloop's Chief Operating Officer Bipop Gresta. The transportation technology startup believes that the Hyperloop will be cheaper than high-speed rail in the country. Take a look. Mr. Bebop Cresta said he has held several discussions with authorities from Malaysia and Indonesia. We are able today to announce at the World Economic Forum. Is it visionary? In 30 years' time, <laughs> will you and I be sitting on our rocking chairs going, well, we talked about it then, and he did it. Traveling by Hyperloop is going to be the future. They're making it.